you're a starting point. You don't have to start streaming yet, but it's okay. Is the stream working? Yeah. Just check If they can hear everything we're saying. But you'll be right. You can start like one. In fact, I'll just make a start. To reset. Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, thank you for coming. I know it's like a bit quiet, but I try to make this workshop more entertaining. Uh, welcome to Create and Make Club Join Workshop. Um, I'm very pleased to present this workshop today. My name is William. I'm the president of Make Club. So it's based at Faculty Art and Design. Um, I'm also the member of the media and marketing subcommittee here in Drake. And I do media arts in my degree, uh, in my faculty as well. So for those people who don't know about Make Club, so Make Club pretty much similar to Create, but we run more like art and design stuff. So from digital application, um, traditional and digital self making, ceramics, um, screen printing, photography, everything about art and design. We also run Arduino, which Create will come over to our campus, which in, um, in, in week nine later in the semester. We also run project consultation, so aiming to see, like I mean, to help students uh, with their assignments or personal projects they have. We also do project project collaborations. Currently, we have the Fifth Sydney 2018 project with Create. So, uh, for those people in Create, probably may know what's going on already. So, if you'd like to get involved, um, please don't hesitate to come and speak to me or speak to one of our fellow executives um, later on in the session. We're aiming to bring the knowledge and skills of making to students and able and allow them to apply on academic, personal projects and professional career. And obviously, we are the Sister Club Trade. So if you'd like to get to know more about Make Club, you can just find us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course in Notsync. And any information that any anything you want to ask us, you can message us or email us. So as I said earlier, we're doing Photoshop. Um, let me just do a quick poll. Is anyone here hasn't used Photoshop before? Haven't used Photoshop before? Just wait, so just get a get hands. Haven't used. Probably the HP Shine. All right. OK, so Photoshop literally is just a software that you can edit anything, edit photos, if you are people working in marketing or promote or like promoting events, probably use Photoshop a lot. Final touch on your design. And for some people that you may not know that Photoshop can also play 3D models and do the basic rendering. Or if you don't know anything about Photoshop, you can just literally create an artwork. Could be. So that's what I'm going to do today. So what I'm going to do today is I will introduce the Photoshop software and it helped everyone to understand the software interface and also introduced to some of the commonly used creative tools and some special ones. And ultimately today we just try to create a basic, could be um, artwork or poster. Um, for those who hasn't downloaded Photoshop yet, you can download it from the Adobe website. It's already in the slides. If you have downloaded it, that's fantastic. I, heard, I know that there's some people using of softwares like the old version like CS5, CS6, that's totally fine. But just um, pay attention to the um, to the tools that I'm using. It's probably there's some different arrangements. So, without any further to say, I will just 
start my demonstration. This is what I'm going to demonstrate today. So it's kind of like combining a bit of image and a bit of like creating text, creating some 3D models, and probably have that interesting character at the back, just try to entertain for one. So um, if you have your Photoshop software with you today, that's wonderful. If you don't have one, um, please don't hesitate to just share with one of your friends, uh, one of your people next to you, just kind of look at the same monitor, or you can just look at here as well. Um, the files for today can be found on the Facebook event. Um, so it's probably a, it's a Google Drive, and then there's some images that you can use for today's workshop. Uh, is, there, is there any questions so far? By the way, or like, am I speaking too fast? <coughs> no. Okay. Okay. So, when if you have open Photoshop already, you will see something like that. So you can, if you have done any works previously. Like say you have worked on the Photoshop file or JPEG files, we see all your previous files me here. So probably see what I've done in the past two weeks, probably. But anyway, I will just literally create a new one. So you can create in any size as you like. You can create um, like you can just pick one of the presets there, like landscape um, size or. I've saved some presets here, like face. Like I do a bit of marketing for Facebook, uh, like on the Facebook page. So I literally have have the Facebook event coming for those. So um, normally those presets won't be won't be uh, appear on the Photoshop. So to do that, you can actually create your own preset. So you can save it in the Photoshop. So you don't need to um, retype the dimensions or even resolutions for. The files you're working in the future. So probably what I'll just do is probably like today, um, probably just say create, and then probably like uh, just an example like probably like I want um, the file to be um, we we'll just go pixels. Probably like the file. Probably like in the future if I want to do some posters or like for create, I will just like say I want to do two thousand times one thousand maybe, and then you can choose the orientation portrait landscape. And the resolution, and then um, that's just the color um, system RGB and white background. That's what that's then you can just literally create a preset so you don't need to waste time to find the dimensions um, for if you want to do it the same thing again. But what I'm going to do today, yeah, sorry. What about that 8 bit? A bit. Okay, 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 I think that, that okay, that's the um, I think that's um, the like the color, I think the color, I think that's the colors that being the color bits. I think I'm not too sure about this one, but I usually just don't, don't care about it. You can, if you want to get more colors, I think I think the two bits is also really okay. fine. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yes, I, I don't, I don't really care about this. I usually just care about the dimensions and resolution. That's the most important thing. You can change the bits, the color mode, like later on in the software. So no worries. So what I'm going to do is I will just go <coughs> with landscape two times three. That's a really genetic format for if you're like looking for to make a simple photo or poster. So I'll just go with this one today. So I just double press it. So now you see this is my working space. So um, on the top is just the application bar and the <coughs> some of the tools. And then on the left hand side, you can see all the functions like from selection tools, um, paintbrush, text, um, pen tool, even shapes as well. So you can so you can create shapes as well. So you don't you don't you don't, need, you don't really need like other softwares to create shapes. But like of course, like there's some softwares if you're looking forward to create um, like filter graphics, probably Illustrator did the best. But um, Photoshop, you can do it in Photoshop as well. But um, the quality is just okay, but it's also quite too. Um, to get to get to know how to use it, and then on the right hand side, you can see other other tools of some of the function of some of the um, let's say brush. You can see there's some further options they can pick for the brushes, and then um, on the far right, you can see your colors. So you can pick your colors 
from the right hand side. And then you also have the um, a, pan, a panel called libraries. So if you are if you are currently subscribing with the Adobe Creative Cloud, you can use this space to store your apps, to store your artwork or any objects that you used before, or like even colors. Like for me, I just find it very useful to like store the colors. So I don't need to um, like find the colors. Like if I, if, let's say if I want to use the same color again in future um, documents or publication, I just need to go to my stock. I just go back to my assets and I can just literally double click that and I don't need to re figure out what kind of I was using previously. And then um, the one below, you have the layers. So that's the working layer. So since there's nothing, so that's just the background, that's the default background. Um, usually I'll just leave it um, lock it. So um, so basically there's nothing to be drawn or, um, or paint over the background. What we do, I'll just create a layer to start um, putting images or like create artwork. So um, I will just quickly um, import some photos that, I'm, that as part of the demonstration. So um, there are two ways of importing photos or images. So the first, the first way you can do, you can do open and I'll just go back to the um, working folder that I'm working with. So probably um, this one, I can do this way. And then I can um, duplicate the layer to another, to the work, to the file that I'm working with. It's just like copy and paste. So you get, okay, wait, is that working? Um, wait a minute. Yes, on how to one, yeah, okay. So now it's on, wait a minute. Okay, now I got it. Okay. Okay, so um, there's some thing that you may realize there's some problems. So it's like the photo I'm using is larger than the working um, working space. So what I need to do, I just need to resize it. But if I if I don't want to be that complicated, if I don't want to make myself complicated, I will just literally not doing that. I will just using the place embed. So basically means to just have a file being linked to the current working file. So I just do the same step and it just literally pays it folder for me. So you will see it will become like an embed image or like being linked. So what it does is when you um, move the file to somewhere else, um, it will still keep the link. But like if you move outside the laptop or outside the computer you're using, let's say if you save the file in USB but you haven't save the original image in the same USB, then you literally lost the file. So what we should do, I would just do retinize layer. So it just kind of like disconnect the connection between the original file and the virtual file that I'm working with. So it just become an image that being stored in the working file. So um, this is just one of the images that I took like two weeks ago in the city. So I would just go back a little bit. So I will just do, I just quickly do some image editing. Like you can do whatever you like, like if you think there's not enough shadows or like anything, you can just literally go to the one at the bottom. Like there's, um, I think there's a create new view or adjustment layer. You can see on the, um, on the top right corner. Alternatively, you can go to image and go adjustment. You can find the absolute same functions, like you can change your color saturation, white balance. Um, you can also invert colors. You can change your brightness levels. If you are photographers, you may, you may, you may be familiar with these functions. But I'll just quickly do one. Like today, I would like to make the poster not so natural. So I probably just go with different colors, like Today I a bit green. I could do something like that. I'll probably just bump up the saturations. Probably, maybe. But I just want I don't want to do too much because I don't want to change the um, the natural the 
that natural quality. So I just do a little bit, not too much. And then you can also continue to apply lay, apply adjustment layers. Like if you feel like the there's not enough brightness, I can just go and bump up a little bit. And okay, all right. And then probably um, exposure as well. So you can do whatever you like. Like with this settings, like there's no absolute right answer. It depends like how you want to create this poster. So probably we'll just do it like this way. And then what I'm going to do is, okay, probably I just need some cheating. Oopsie. Okay, probably need some cheating, kind of. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to show next is, um, like I say that some people talking, like I, I remember in the event description, they're talking about like photoshopping the faces or something like that. But instead of doing that, I will just literally import the photo and just make the photo a bit interesting. So I will do, I will do, I mean, I will do the same thing, place and bed. Just probably do this one. Yeah, I can do it. I can, I can do this shit, but like, that is it. So there are several ways to make this photo like not let's say not literally having the image being embed at the background what we do is i will i will do the same thing first Retinize the layer so become an image being stored in the workspace and then probably i will do i will start using the quick selection tool so what it does is i can select the areas that i don't want or some or the area that you want for this one i will just erase the area that i don't want so i can just quickly just um go a, just literally outline the parts I don't need. So I now probably just do a bit of adjustment to ensure that every element is being selected. And then when I'm done, I can just literally delete. So the background is gone. So you can just literally get this fantastic baby face that you say you can do it. That's what I'm talking about. And I can just resize it and then I will intend to put it back. So the next step I will do, I will do a layer mask. So I so I can put the image behind the buildings in the image. So go back to the image layer that I'm working with. Okay, probably need to press enter first. And then I'll go back to the image layer. And then what I'm doing right now is using the same tool called quick selection. Or you, if you like to use the polyg uh, polygonal lasso tool, it's also great as well. It's ideal for cutting out the straight lines, straight edges. So probably I just see what can I do? I will just literally try to find the outline of that building. I just quickly do one. Like if you have time, you can do it more precisely. I'm happy with it. So what I'm doing now is, if you see on my uh, on the top right corner, you see there's a there's a text called add layer mask. So I can apply layer mask. Okay, probably I just wanted to do. I need to create a new layer first. Yes, I'm working with another new layer. So I apply layer mask, and then what I'm going to do is I will drag the layer. Um, actually, it's not dragging the layer. Actually, I will, I will drag the adjustment layer. So by doing that, I press the alternative key. Like I'm okay. I'm using Windows command. If you are Mac users, probably need to do something like like conversions. 
So in Windows command, I will press alternate and then I hold hold that um, adjustment mark, adjustment layer to here. Yep, yeah, see because you see there's nothing because I haven't moved that character to the center to the way to the to the place I want. So what I have to do is now now you see it's on, now you see it's lock. If I move, if I literally just move the um, yeah, it won't work. I will need to undo that, uh, unlock the layer, and I just literally just move that uh, character so I can just literally control T so it selects the object or you can resize it. So I start to move and probably you can say something like that. So it's kind of like like it's 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 kind of similar to like if you if you if you know Batman, but you know you know how Batman's having that 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 Batman logo and then being shine on the sky. So probably I just doing something like that. So yeah, so I literally something like that. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, it looks kind of all right. Not really neat. Yep. So yeah, that's the that's the first part I'm going to do, and then. Um, what I'm going to do next? Okay, what I'm going to do next, I will introduce the um, the how to create a shape, like the one here. I have the rabbit. Yes, we can. Yes, considering the Easter is coming, so I just think about just doing a a, a very cute uh, a very cute bunny. So I will just like I will just do create a new file first. You can do whatever size you want. I will just like to retain landscape two by five. And then um, to find, to create a shape, you can go like at the down bot, like near the bottom on the left hand side, you can find like retain, ret rectangle tool, round rectangle tool, um, circles, polygons. So probably I'm going to do today, I just literally create a circle. So create a face. Yeah, probably I want a I want a very round face today. So I can I can adjust it. I can adjust the shape as well, kind of. Um, okay, okay. I did the wrong thing. I should not do it on background. I should create a new layer first, and then <coughs> create a new shape. Yeah, the, the right thing. Okay, path two. Okay, shape. And then um, just retain the white background. Okay, that's not right. Wait a minute. What I've done. Okay, now I got the right thing. So probably I want um, just want the stroke, like the border of the shape, like three three pixels, and then I will just make the okay, that, that's not white, that's not red outline, it's a black outline. And then uh, I can resize it like by Control T, so that's the transformation tool, something like that. And then now I create the ears. Same action. Create create um oval like shape. And then I will create a second. I create a smaller one like the pink the paint session. So I can change the color as well like this one today. Then um, to make myself easier, I can also group the. I can also um, probably group the layers. So I know it's a ears. Okay. So I do. I resize it again. Also do okay. Now there's a new way to duplicate the um, the groups or layers. So if you are uh, Windows user, you can do um, Control J. So it creates a copy layer for you. So um, it will save you some time. So I do the same. I get another right thing. Okay. 
So I need to press command, I need to press R control T and move the shape as well. And then probably the next step is I would I would like to move the ears like at the back of the head. So I like to select both layers and I just move them one layer below. So you see the ears being behind is behind the 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 face right now. And I also quickly make the make the eyes. <coughs> yeah, is anyone has any questions so far? By the way, uh, did I got wait? I did wrong. Okay, <coughs> that's not right. Okay. To create a new one, okay. What I will do, I will just create a new one as well so I won't mess up layers. <coughs> yep. Cut off. You can also use your arrow, arrow key, like your arrow keys to adjust the, the position of your eyes, like if you. Yes, normally if I if I can just I can literally use my hands, but like it's sometimes just not giving you that accurate position. So normally I will just use the arrow case to help me. Like it really helps a lot. So kind of like that. And I set both layers again, and then I just literally just put it right here. Um, if I did the right, I don't know if I did the right thing. Kind of. Every key again, so it helps me a lot. And then command J again, and then I will move another eye to the to the right side. I don't know is is it pal I don't know is it like a line or not, but like yeah, just an exercise. If you are if you are being serious through, you can make this better than me, probably. And now, finally, I just need to make the, the nose. So, yeah. Okay. All right. And then now I'd like to introduce the, um, the, the brush tool. So if you don't have, if you're not using like a service pro like me, or you don't have like graphics tablet, you can just literally use the mouse. You can just just use the mouse that I have, or you can use the trackpad to literally draw that um, mouth. If I do have, one, I I don't want to show that, but I can just literally um, quickly draw the mouth out. Okay, that's not working. It's, it's white. I need a black. So it's something like that. Hopefully, it's correct. Okay, let's see. But it looks much beautiful than this one. <laughs> okay, so now basically this is the like just basic rubber shape. So what I'm going to do next is I group them all, and then if you're happy with this one, you can just merge layers. So it become it just literally become an image. Um, if you like to do some changes again, like say if I don't do grouping and then literally just copy back into my working file. I can just literally save my file, save as, let's say this is rapid, um, um, like create rapid, and I can just literally save for the short file. And then what I'm going to do now is I duplicate the layer to the working, to the working file that I'm working with. I can see it's here. So I can do the resizing. To make this um, and to make the rabbit loss naturally hand on the building, um, there's a very there's a very useful tool you can do a bit of distortion or perspective transformation. So probably today I will use I think it's distortion. So you can kind of like try to make try to align a rabbit to the building so it looks a bit natural. If not, I will probably use the, uh, I think it's the perspective, I think. So I can literally just make it 
so that should kind of yeah yep. so that's the that's the shape that's how to make shapes or literally say how to make a rabbit okay so let's see what i've done next um okay next i will just try to modify some of the image elements in the actual uh, some of the elements in the image so do you see here there's uh, the sign here i can just literally erase that and can i just put create on there so what i'm going to do right now is i can just do some brushes and erase the the d kind of so i can start erasing just try to make really say, say that that's a create store and the cbd so i just quickly do one kind of and then now i'm going to apply the um the text so just create yes um the create logo is red so i probably use red text as well and also accompany and also accompany with the um the the street sign as well so what we just do is create and then um and then probably need to make the 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 letters not aligned so I just need to scale down to make myself be easier Our transformation yes and then continue to do that okay kind of kind of right and then now I just need to scale down okay that's that's not Right, I need to change the font that I'm using. So you can use any font that you like, but I um, to make um, the font looks consistent to the one I'm working with. Uh, I will try go with um, maybe um, Arial, probably Arial bold. So I will do the same thing again, scale it and then count, try to count like a line on the, on the shape as well. So I need to just do a little adjustment. You can rotate it kind of, you can also scale up or down. Yep, so kind of. And then I will also do it on the opposite side as well. So the same thing on the opposite side, I apply the brush, so try to erase the original signage. Same thing as well. Yep. And I'm also trying to like erase some the okay, not the right, okay. erase that as well <coughs> and then I will duplicate that that create sign and then I will, what I do is I will infer so wait so you can infer that create logo uh, that create test through the adjustment and I think wait is it I think it's edit and the transformation flip horizontal so kind of like creating the reflection and then probably now I just need to erase some of the unnecessary parts so that pretty much it um, is there any question so far or like is it a bit not in, a bit of like yes it's very quiet here or or, or is there anything that, I, that you'd like me to teach you guys paste image again like the paste the 
they they create they the text they cre they create text or they it just image itself. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, so I can do it again. Yeah, sorry, I probably go too fast. That's all right. So, um, yeah, I can just go back to the rabbit one. Okay, this is the rabbit that I just done. You can just right click on the layer one, like the layer that, that I want to copy to another layer, to the, another file. So, I will just go duplicate layer. There's options giving you, you can duplicate on the same working file. So literally there are two rabbits on the same file. If you want to move to the file that I'm working with, I'll just go to the untitled one. Like that's the file I'm working with. But like normally if I say, if I have saved the file, then you see the document entry, like um, let's say create with five file. So um, if you're happy with it, I just say, I will just press okay. And then now you can see the rabbit has been appeared on the layer, yeah. Uh, merge what? The memory. Okay. Good point. Okay. Before we go too fast, before we go too fast again. Okay. That's one. That's one important thing that you, that you know. Unlike other, unlike other softwares, if you keep pressing um, control set or command set like undo the actions, it will just undo one of the actions. If you need to undo multiple actions, I will need to open up the history panel so you can literally just press um, the layers that they want to undo. So now that now I have undo the previous layers. So you see now there are multiple layers. To merge layers, I'll just <coughs> shift from the first layer to the final layer, not excluding the background layers. So I just literally just shift everything. And then right click, you see merge layers. So that's how I merge the entire shape or the entire object to one image. So now it's an image. So I can't do any adjustments to the to the ears. I can do I can't do any adjustments to the eyes. So that's that's the merge function. <coughs> Say again. Um, can you can you help? Yeah, does anyone have any questions for Photoshop uh, at this stage? Like we have another helper that can help you if you need to. Um, all good. Oh, that's why right. it takes a time. It's all right. How about the people at the back? Like, are you guys okay? 
Or you want me to create some means? Feels all right. Want to make? Oh, who wants to make means you? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, could could do so. Hold on a second. Like you want to change the um the face to like apply it on the rabbit or what do you want? Yeah, I want to make this a bit interactive. Huh? On the body of something else. Okay, probably I just. What's say again? Just swap the head. You put the head on the side. Also, okay, so you literally want that face on someone's or like other stuff. Okay. Okay, for I just okay, for I just need to go a bit of Google. One second, um, transition back. Um, what do you want today? Um, what do you want? Cat, dog. What do you want? Maybe 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 cat, probably, or um, super Superman, probably Superman. Um, probably, okay. Probably go with um, this one, not this one, actually. I just want to pick a plain one. Pick the plain one. Kind of. The fifth one on the top, this one? This one. The fifth one from. The left. Fifth one from the left. This one. Yeah. Okay. Something with action. Okay. Yep. Just have some interaction going on. Um. So I just. Okay. I'll just do my stuff first. Save. And then um. Now I need to go back to the slides. So I'll probably just create a new file right now. Just create a new file just to explain like someone's request. Um, so what I do now, I just create. That. Oh yeah, you can just you can just literally open a new open that actual image and then I will also put this one here. Okay. So probably need some probably need some work. So, so you you can just use the um yeah um is it still here? Still here? Okay. So probably I'll just um quickly erase the past that I don't want. Just try yeah. Okay, that, that entire one. So you can do either um, quick selection tool to just crop the face out, um, like crop the ears as well. Okay, kind of like that, and then we delete that. Okay, I got it right. So I need to kind of like okay, see what can I see what can I go. Trying to erase some um, meds or some remaining parts like the, the border of the image, and then, wow, never done that before actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never done I've never done this thing before actually. Honestly, okay, I'll just give it try. I'll just give it a go. Um, probably um, adjustment. No, 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 adjustment is the transformation. Flip horizontal. Try to merge the image together with the. Okay, some time. Okay, 
No, I would do. I would just use the um, the layer mask, the layer mask to help me to, to do the work. Um, so the, what laser masks do is you don't need to actually erase the um, the original image. You can just apply on the layer mask. So it just erase like in the in the layer mask, but it won't affect the the actual image. So I'll just quickly do one right now. Okay, not working. So I need to use black. So kind of like try to make shape more split. Um, now I'm just apply the um, a bit of transitions. Kind of, no, this is not right. Oh, that's not right. The, the mouth is still down there, actually. Okay, let's make it it's a bit bigger. Okay, so. Wait, are you planning to actually just pay, play a trade on your friends? Like, um, what, what, may I get a name? Me? Yeah. I'm Claire. Oh, Claire. Do, are you thinking of like, um, like making some happy birthday poster and then like, um, try to like have your friend's face on someone on someone else. I mean, that would be kind of funny. I'm making a meme. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Oh, what do you do? I'm making a meme. Right I'll make. Oh, I'm making. A meme. Nice. I love that. I'm to. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Like, I just give it. I just give it a go. Just, I, yes, honestly, I never done this thing before, so like, I just give it a go. Let's see how can I how I go. Um, probably. Um, trying to erase that part. So. Okay. Trying the best. Oopsie, not right. And then probably I will also do on the. Okay, and then I'll just say main um, Yeah, why something like that? Like this is this is this is what I know so far. Like if if you want to do better, you can like if you have better skills than me, you can just literally like make the uh, the skin color looks the same as the the Superman or like. Try to make, try to like extract the features on that baby face on the on that actual Superman. Yeah. So that's that's just the very genetic way. Just simply put that another person's character, another person's face onto someone else. That's just the example. So I'll just keep my copy as well, hopefully. Okay. Yes. Do you like erase like an image? Do you have that? Do you like go ahead and erase something? Um, say again, sorry? Do you like go ahead and like erase the fist out of there or something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I did is um uh, what I did is uh, I applied layer mask so you don't need to um when you erase the like you, when you do something on a layer mask it won't affect on the original image, so you can still move your image. No, 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 I mean, like, how do you 
you write like you write the. Oh yeah, by the way, there's spaces like later, I think around the end of the workshop. So like if you want if you want if you're looking for pizza, um probably please be patient. It's free for everyone. All good. Yeah. yeah. So probably I will just skip some of the like. But I feel like yeah, I don't. I don't. I I see people going away with it early, so I'll probably just skip some of the elements. Just try to go to like quickly go to what I want. Um. I will also. I would like. I will now introduce the three D modeling tool for those who don't know that actually you can import three D objects into Photoshop. So, but I don't have an uh, object with me at the moment, so I'll probably just create a new one. So what I do is I create a new layer, and then I can just literally go 3D. So you can you can find 3D options at the top bar. So all I do is I would create a new match. So let's say today I wanted to make that is to eight, so I get a speed. So I'll just give you a give you a reminder. Say, are you going to create three D layer? So do you want to switch that? I'll probably say um, no. Yes, I don't think that affect too much. Yep, so now I create that um, that that sphere. So if you're familiar with other softwares like um, Maya or uh, like any other desk three D modeling software, you should be familiar with the um, the transformation tools or arrangement tool. But I can also show you a bit like um, how to make how to recreate a shape. So um, I would like first of all like to scale along one side of the one along one axis. So I just try to make that oval shape. This is right. So kind of like get the oval shape. And then you can also move the move along the axis. So if it's that to create that kind of Okay. And then I'll probably try to zoom out that okay, so I can make it a bit smaller. And then um, you can also change the um, the aspect of that shape or of that object, and now I can just decide to put it somewhere that I want. So let's say we're on the on the track, and then to complete that, I'll just go to come to escape the action. I can do I can either I can just literally click any layers that it's not the free layer. So basically, don't, you don't need to worry about the eight is already there already. There's another interesting tool you can do with the three D layers is you can actually apply materials on the layer. So um, to make okay to make it clear. Um, if you see the views, and then there's a there's a line called spear material that's called default texture. That's the default texture that's been currently applied. That's the white background. So you can change that on the actual um, actual layer as well. So you can do whatever you want. You can do shape. You can do patterns. So I just literally create that fuzzy um, pattern on it. Try to make it look like Easter. So when I save that, like this is this is the this is the extension file. So it will save together with the file working with. So don't worry. So you don't need to like it's a you don't need to like save this file again. So this way in the so like together with the file that working with. So now you see I applied some of the brushes over there, and then you now see the patterns being applied on the first, on the actual ECA. <laughs> No. 
so probably like that. Oh yeah. Um, uh, if you are if you are looking forward to if you're looking for to adjust the shadows of that object, like say if you like to if if you say if you like to place it like under the sun un under the image that has um, that have a have a like authentic sun or like sunlight, we can use this one to adjust the shadows to stimulate. Like say if there's a sun over there, you can stimulate that actual shadow. So I can do one like that. If you don't need that, you can just leave it like as just like like that. So basically, just get a shadow at the back, like a very soft shadow at the back. So um, okay, probably I won't go all the way to the end. I'll just quickly just explain one more function that you can make. Um, some text on the layer. So yes, he says I'm gonna just let you say happy Easter. <coughs> I can just apply any way that I want. Probably um, I can also centralize the sh the text. Something like that. And then, um, if you like to transform the shape, transform the text like as an image, you need to retinize the the text so it become an image. So you can you can literally edit the image, uh, literally edit the text um, anymore. So I'll do the same thing. I do um, the perspective transformation. So kind of like try to place that um, text onto the building. Kind of. yeah. So yeah, kind of. So I can also do a bit of rotation, so it looks a bit real. Yeah. There's one other thing that you can do. If you like like if you're not happy with just a plain Text color, you can also you can create like another layer to apply gradient on that actual um, font as well. So what I need to do now is I will use the quick selection tool. You can just like quickly select that border of the text, and then again the layer layer mask. Hey, thank you. Thanks for, do you want to wait for pizza? There's pizzas. Oh, uh, no, I already had dinner. I ate pizza. But thank you. Uh, no worries. Uh, any questions, uh, please, like, you can, uh, happy to respond to your questions like, yeah. in the future. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Okay. So, same thing um, layer mask. So, I can apply any gradient on top. So, yeah. so you can create like, like fantastic. Color. It doesn't need, yeah, so like that. Make a mask, okay. Yeah, sorry, a bit too fast again. Okay, so um, probably just, okay, just undo that. Okay, okay, to create a mask from the, um, like you would just like to create a mask on the text. So I just undo, undo the first. Though. So that's, so as I said earlier, I recognize the text, so it become an image right now. So I will use the, Quick selection tool, yes, yes, um, and then because that layer just contains text, so I can just literally just like circle that layer. It just literally highlight or select the text only, and then because I'm applying onto another layer, uh, I'm I will just create a new layer, and then um, like if you if you if you're not convenient with finding the um, the other layer mask you can actually find from the top layer and then um, new adjustment layer. Oh wait, not new adjustment layer. I think it's a layer mask. And then you can um, wait. I think it's, yeah, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, got it. And then refer selection. I think yep, refer selection. And then you can um, create that fantastic. Gradient on top of the image, on top of the test. Yeah. 
So far, I'll just stop right here. Yes, I, if I continue to go on, I feel I just try to like make people just go away. So I'll just stop here. But is there anything that you want me to do like as a live demonstration or, or I just I want to get some interaction as well? Like, what do you want? I'll test the image again. Okay, so like you want, like say the text and then convert into image. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just literally type again. So create, whatever. So that's the that's the text. So you can so before you retinize the shape, you can still edit the content. Yep. So in the layer panel, right click on the layer that you're working with. Retinize type that will convert the text into image, so you can see just the image only. So yeah, you can't do it. You can't. I, if I just press this one, it won't work. I like just literally just create a new new layer. It won't work. Yeah, yeah. So um, is there any other functions I'd like to explain? Like I think I've explained most of it. Yeah. Um. Of course. Um. If you not to if you have any questions with regardless of what I'm doing today. Um, in the PowerPoint slides today, I have like 10 or 15 slides that explaining different functions that, I, that I'm working with today. So you can, you're happy to go back and uh, wait a minute, I just go. Okay, one minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I just go back to the transition. So you can see all the slides are here. Yeah, you can find the files, you can find the slides from the Facebook event. So probably if you are on Facebook already, you can find the workshop slides today. And you can also find the practice files, like the image that I use today as well. Yeah. So um, like there's lots of tools you can, you can use. Like probably I haven't mentioned like all of it, but I just try to like give a general overview of the software. Uh, but like if you have any questions with the software, or so, like if you want to get a like like some tutorials, you can go to the Adobe Adobe.com to get some help, or you can go to Linda.com. Like all your students has free subscriptions, so you can go to Linda.com and then type in your um, or type in university.edu.au on the login page, and then it will just promote you to the set ID. It's free for everyone. So probably today that's it. Yep. I hope the pieces should be coming very soon. I'm not too sure. Are you waiting for pieces? Are you waiting for the pieces? Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. Anything that I can teach you, anything that I can teach you, like just continue that interaction. Anything? What about the lighting? The lighting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably done too much. Probably I haven't. Done, I've done too much on the demonstration, on the on my sample image. Yeah, pretty easy. Just create a shape, like a rectangular shape, or you can um, whatever. Yeah, probably something like that. And then um, try to get this gradient effect, something like that. Um, probably that's the right thing I'm doing. And then I can also rearrange, change the capacity, and then now I can rotate. Yep. Kind of. Um, we need to make this a bit natural. This one, okay. So I can duplicate layer again, and then um, I do the rotation transforming uh, horizontally. So just kind of like getting this effect, kind of. We do it again. Okay. We do this more, and then I 
just slightly move the kind of little hole. Like it looks like having that star wall, not too sure. Yeah, yeah, it should, you can just use shape tool. Yeah, anything that it, it, it depends, like, it depends how creative you, you are. Like, there's lots, there's, there's lots of ways to create the image that I just demonstrated today. Like, you can, like, if you don't want to type the text out, you can just, if you have like graphic tablet, you can um draw the text your own text like your own style and then you can do the same thing as well so anything else say again the color of oh yeah yeah so could i like like you want to change the face of that the face, face. Yeah. okay same yeah um i lost real one minute okay like want to make it brighter right or a bit darker Maybe dark. darker okay so now let's jump back the layer i'm working with oh yeah one extra tip um to me it's very convenient i will usually um rename the layer so you know which layer you're working with so now I have trouble to find the layer right now. Um, yep, okay, here you can do it. Yeah, I can find it. Yep. So I will do like I will do some adjustment on there. So probably like yeah, did, yeah, did, did. Is, it, is it working? Yeah. Yep. Kind of. Okay. Um yeah. yeah. I think that's it. Probably that's it. Or anything you want to ask? Or you just wait for the pizza anyway.